Yo, what's up fellas, and it is time to show you how to upgrade your elemental swords in Shadows of Evil. The swords upgraded are amazing fellas, so you need to know how. So let's begin. So before you even try to get the upgraded swords, you need to make sure you have opened up the Pack a Punch room and gave the Shadow Man the Rift Stone. And also, you need to know how to get the normal sword first. If you don't know how to open up the Pack a Punch and get the normal sword, we have guides on our channel for both of them, so I've put links in the description for you fellas. Now you have got your sword, after charging your egg at each statue, you now start to upgrade your sword. So what you want to do is see which character you are in the game. In this game, I was the magician. So I had to go up to the magician's ritual room and get a black egg from the ghost. The ghost will be on the ritual table. Hold X to collect the egg. Now you have the black egg. You have to place your egg in four circles around the map and kill the magras that spawn. You can only place the egg in one circle once per round. So the best thing to do here is start around, kill most of the zombies. You then want to leave a zombie or a crawler, and then go place your egg into the circle and start killing the magras. I had Cal Hal the other just gaming fella to take the zombies away, so I could kill the magras in peace. There are four circles, one in each district. There's one circle outside the Bless Club in the Footlight District. There's one outside the Boxing Club door at the waterfront. There's one circle outside the Ruby Rabbit in the canals. And there's one outside the spawn in the Junction District. And all you need to do is go to one of these at the end of a round. Place your egg and Magras will spawn. Only one of them will spawn in the first circle. In the second circle, two will spawn. And in the last two circles, two or three will spawn. So before you do any of this, fellas, you need some good weapons and good perks. I had the ray gun, which was perfect for killing the Magras. So yeah, I'll just repeat myself again, fellas, just so you know. You can complete one circle per round, leave a zombie, do one circle. Start the next round, leave a zombie, do that circle, etc. And also, fellas, when you kill the Magras, you won't have to pick up the egg again. The black egg will just be ready to put in the next circle in the next round. So when you finish the last circle, you then go back up to your character's ritual room and you give the ghost your sword. Now, the ghost will give you the upgraded sword. And boom, there it is. Now your upgraded sword will have some cool new features. It will become more powerful, as you can see here. But when you press LT, you will spawn its special ability. It's this beauty. It's almost like the Hell's Retriever from Mob of the Dead. It basically takes zombies' heads off. So that's a cool feature to that upgraded sword. There are four different swords you can get. So if you play with more people, you will get the different types of elemental swords. Each sword will have its own different ability. Like the sword I got, it was called the Shaitan Lu Krima Hogra. Somewhere like that. And this sword's ability, like I said, is the fire dagger that takes on his heads off. So each sword will have its own cool ability. And lastly, fellas, I think the upgraded swords can kill the Magras in one hit. So that's always nice, isn't it? So there you go, fellas. That was a hard one to do, but me and Cal finally bossed it, and the guide has been bossed. The easter egg for this map is tough, because you need four players to do it, and all four players need these upgraded swords. So that's going to be tough to do. But yeah, so please subscribe to Just Gaming Fillers, and if you do, we will be very grateful. Thanks again fellas, and I'll see you in the next one.